welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover fractions of a group. We will go through some examples together, and then we will end with some practice problems. Remember, a fraction is part of a whole. The whole can be one object, or in this case, the whole is going to be a group of objects. So fractions can represent part of a whole group. Let's jump into our examples, starting with number one, where we have what fraction of the triangles are blue. So for numbers one and two, we have a group of triangles. This is our whole, our whole group. So for number one, we need what part of that group is blue? Well, let's start with the denominator. The denominator is going to be the total number of parts in the whole group. That's going to be the total number of triangles here. We have one, two, three, four, five total triangles. So that's going to be our denominator. Now we need what fraction of that total amount of triangles are blue. Here's one blue triangle, and here's two blue triangles. So two out of the five triangles are blue. Two is our numerator. So what fraction of the triangles are blue? Two fifths. Let's move on to number two and try another one. So what fraction of the triangles are green? Well, we know that our denominator is five. That's the total number of triangles. So let's put our denominator of five. And now we need our numerator. So how many triangles out of the five total triangles are green? Well, one, two, three. So three is our numerator. So what fraction of the triangles are green? Three fifths. Let's try a few more examples and move on to numbers three through five. Taking a look at numbers three through five, we're going to be working with a group of donuts here. Let's start with number three, where we have what fraction of the donuts have chocolate frosting, so brown frosting. Let's start with the denominator. So we need to figure out how many total parts make up the whole group, how many total donuts make up the whole group. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight total donuts. So eight is our denominator. Now we need the numerator. That's going to be the number of donuts that have chocolate frosting. We have one, two, three, four. So four is our numerator. Four out of the eight donuts have chocolate frosting. So our fraction is four eighths. Let's move on to number four, where we have what fraction of the donuts have pink frosting? We know that we have eight total donuts, so that's going to be our denominator. And now for the numerator. So how many of the eight donuts have pink frosting? One. So one is our numerator. One out of eight donuts has pink frosting. So our fraction is one eighth. And then lastly, number five, we have what fraction of the donuts have blue frosting? So again, we know that we have eight total donuts. So that's our denominator. Now we need the numerator. So how many of those eight total donuts have blue frosting? Well, one, two, Three. three out of the eight donuts have blue frosting. So three is our numerator. Our fraction is three eighths. So now that we've gone through some examples together, it's time for you to try some practice problems on your own. So have paper and a pencil ready. Here are your practice problems. Answer all four questions. I'll give you two minutes and then we will go over the answers. Go ahead and start.
Okay, so that's two minutes. Let's take a look at the answers. For number one, we have five ninths. Five of the candies are blue out of the nine in total. For number two, we have four ninths. Four of the candies are green out of the nine in total. Taking a look at number three now, we have one twelfth. One apple is yellow out of the twelve in total. And lastly, number four, we have seven twelfths. Seven of the apples are red out of the twelve total apples. So there you have it. There's how to write a fraction to represent part of a group. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.